Hey. Hi. How you doing? Super good. Great. What do you What do you got there? Uh, Lego X Wing Starfighter. Uh, I didn't uh, I didn't finish it it yet. Half finished. Yeah. Yeah. Looks very very involved. A lot of pieces. Yeah. So it's like here, do that and do that and cool get in there. Now the leg is shut in. Hmm. What is that? Is that like a landing gear? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't made all the landing gears yet. Another landing gear in there. Yeah. Still a few more. Yeah. Looks good though. How long did that take you? Um, some, well, um two days. Yeah. Uh, and also there's a switch, and now it's open. Oh, there you go. Does that make it go faster or slower? Nah. When you spread what? the wings apart. Um, the same speed, um, only that it gives a wider, a wider view, like a wider range to fire. Mm. Yeah, true. So are those weapons in the front of the wings? Ah, uh, yes. It's supposed yeah. to be. I uh, supposed to be putting the laser cannon in here, but I haven't built that part yet. Uh, so. mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, and also is there's a little space for droids right there. Mm. Uh, say R two D two, these astromech droid R two D two, and you okay. just um, put it in there and put it right there. Put him right there, and then aha, R two D two is in there. Yeah, go. Cool. Luke Skywalker is in there. Yeah. <clears throat> Should I put these wings in? I mean, his lightsaber. Maybe I'll just put it in there. Hmm. Nope. A little too big for that. Wait. What about if I put it like that? Nope. Put it like that. Nope. Cool. So you're building that. How many pieces do you think it has? I 100? saw it. It's about uh, about like more than a thousand, I think. Uh, oh no, wow! Nine hundred thirty, whatever. Yeah, very involved. Lots of moving parts. Yeah, that's a lot, a lot of a lot of features. You mm. see, it has this. Yeah, what is that? Is it an elastic band? This is an elastic band. It helps keeps this closed when it's like this. Because okay. without that, it'll just the the bottom wing will be like. Poof. Yeah. But this elastic band holds it together. There's one here. Holds it together. Mm. There's one here, and a one here. Cool. So if I do this, that a little that little gear right there mm. helps keeps it open. Okay. So look. If I do that, uh, it goes a lot fast. So uh, this that thing spins. Yeah, closes very quickly. Yeah, okay, you can't even see it. Mm. But it opens pretty slowly. But if I do that, it opens pretty fast. Wow. Uh -huh. And it's like, oh yeah, combat mode. <laughs> yeah. This is supposed to be my birthday present, but I got it early. Yeah. So what else do you need to? Do you add the other wing? Anything go in the back? Okay. I just need to attach four boosters in there. Okay. Yeah, it looks cool. It's a lot a lot of Lego pieces. And also another fun feature is that you can open it and close it close it. Oh yeah. Yeah. You can just put his lightsaber right there if you don't wanna lose it. Hmm. Yeah. You just put his lightsaber in there and swear. And there's some vents there and there. Some, and one shiny vent in there. Yeah. Yeah. And R2D2 is like, pew, pew, pew. And somehow his head is turned a little bit. Yeah. And is and also the X So is R2D2 inside there? Or is it a. Oh, R2D2 is in the back. Who's in the, the driver's seat? Luke Skywalker. Okay. You can also change it if you want, but I like Luke Skywalker and R2D2. Yeah. Good combo. Yeah, so the, they're famous for destroying the second Death Star in the original Death Star. Uh, yeah, true, in the original movie. 
Oh, yeah, the Death Star 1 and Death Star 2 is no match. Mm. Pew pew! Kablamo! Yeah. And when they land, they, dis they land it. Oh, oopsies. Landing gear. Land it. It lets out the landing gear. And mm. Pew! Sends land. I haven't made all the landing gear. There's actually three landing gears. Yeah. Land safe. Yeah, so it, it lands safely. And also one thing, I forgot to put the thing in there, which it has in there. Mm. I'll just put that in there and say, eh, eh. Cool, yeah, it looks interesting. I Huge. <coughs> I think I could finish it tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. If you, also, how do you one, figure out where to put... Another thing that I got early for my birthday is a Lego Star Destroyer. Okay. Lego Star Wars again. Hmm. How do you know where to put all the pieces? I just have that. Is there like a, a picture that they show that comes with it? Or do you... How do you know? It's a manual. There's a manual. Man okay. They put in there. But the inside that you can't open it up, you can put any color in you want. Hmm. Yeah, like inside there. But not in the driver's seat. You can also yeah. still see there in there. Because of this thing. Yeah. I wonder if this is this is glass or plastic. Probably plastic. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I imagine for a Lego set, it's safer, cheaper to put some plastic. Yeah, and also, and also, if it was, if it was glass, it would have been super heavy. But look, it's really yeah. light. Yeah. Yeah. And yet another. A uh, sign that it's probably glass. It's probably plastic rather than glass. Yeah, true. That's cool. So you got that. Yeah. And Luke Skywalker has a tiny blaster in there. Did he come with the kit, or did you get him from another? Did you have him from something else? I came with the kit. Yeah. But I do have another version of it, of Luke Skywalker. Um, oh, yeah? Uh, Jedi Luke Skywalker, not pilot Luke Skywalker. Mm. Yeah. Okay, do that, and click it in there. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it looks incredible. And the Jedi Knight Luke is in here. Jedi Knight Luke. Yeah, he changes his lightsaber to green because he mm. lost his original lightsaber. It's like green. Yeah, looks cool. Yeah, he looks more scary, I guess. More like a villain, kind of. It's Luke Skywalker. Yeah, yeah, but he looks a bit scarier, I guess, than the other one. It's all black cloak. Looks like he's on the dark side or something. But all Jedi's wear black cloths or brown ah, cloaks. Huh. Black or brown cloaks. Yeah, and Darth Vader wears a black co cloak too. Yeah, that's true. Is so it's. Yeah, Luke Skywalker is a little bit cute than his pilot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's a little more upbeat and friendly. A little more serious when he's a Jedi. Yeah, he has to be serious and concentrated when he is a Jedi to beat up Darth Vader and stuff. Mm. Yeah. And this driver's seat, and I'll turn that thing and stuff, stuff in there, and put that in there, and twist that, yeah. Okay. Now you put his lightsaber in there, right like that, then put that, and then click. Now it's shut. And this does not open up. Mm. It doesn't open up, it just stays. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It doesn't fall out, that's good. You don't want him to fall out during mid-flight. Yeah, so it's like... <sighs> but even though this, if this is open... Mm. Skywalker still doesn't fall out. Okay, well, that's good. He's secure in his seat. Yeah, he also has a lot of seat belts and stuff. Okay. <clears throat> so you can never fall off. Never fall out, yeah. Except when he falls out. Can't fall out unless he falls out, yeah. yeah. That's a funny saying. Yeah, it is. We kind of have similar things. It's not over till it's over. Can't fall out till he falls out. Okay, so... Okay, do that. Alright. And do that. 
And now it's like that. Cool. Deploy its landing gear. Hmm. Yeah, it looks cool. And land it. Good spaceship. It can't stay up because of the weight of its other wing. It's very heavy. Yeah, you need another wing on there to to make it fly. Yeah. How fast can it go? Do you think? I heard that X wings are rather rather slow in space combat. Okay, a few thousand kilometers per hour, maybe. Atmosphere speed is about two thousand uh, two thousand uh, uh, nine hundred seven. Nine hundred seven hundred whatever. Nine hundred seven kilometers an hour, million kilometers an hour. Yeah, who knows? They go slow for galactic speeds. Yeah. Um. All right. So. Yeah. So. What does that mean? So is kind of just what we call a filler word. It's you say it before turning into something else. Well, so if we can. No, not that. Uh, you uh, you actually you actually said. Stow. Oh, stow. Stow? Yeah, actually, stow is a word. To stow away is to put something away. Yeah, I think... I think that was... I think that was because of this stupid internet connection. Yeah, it could be. Miss, miss uh, communication. But yeah, let's open this article I sent you. A zepto second. Smallest yeah, unit of time. Strong, smallest unit of time. It's shorter than this. Way shorter, yeah. It's like impossible for humans. Uh, it's impossible. It's over light, that is. Light could probably experience a zeptosecond. Yes, it's like it's like that. And you shine a light in there. And that's probably a zeptosecond. Mm. It takes it takes the light to it takes the light a zeptosecond to reach the other side. It's like mm. <laughs> very fast. One zipto second later. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's uh. Let's read this. It's kind of an interesting article. And what? Okay. Okay. So uh, zipto second, the shortest unit of time ever measured. In today's world, many things are getting shorter. Shorter. Except for humans. shorter and shorter. Except for humans. It's like da -da 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 -da. humans grow. Yeah, they might get taller and taller, bigger and bigger as they use yeah. genetic engineering. Yeah. I mean, they might make robot arms and all that other stuff, so you can make super big humans. Yeah, and also I have, I have a Mandalorian t-shirt I have wearing there. Yeah. Wearing the Pokemon one now, yeah. Yeah, I am wearing a Pokemon. Who's the other Pokemon? It's Pikachu and who else? Uh, I don't know. I forgot to say okay. Yeah. But it's definitely weaker than Pikachu, I think. Yeah, Pikachu is very strong. Yeah, it's like, um, it's like a million volts. It's like, Pikachu! Pikachu! And it knocks mm. out ruins and seconds. Yeah, cool. Pro possibly even a millisecond, or even a zeptosecond. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about a zeptosecond. It takes the electricity, a zeptosecond, to... to 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 just just go like that. Yeah. What is that? Zepto second. Because zepto second, and an electricity starts from there. Mm. That's probably a zepto second. Yeah, could be. But if it's a sound, then it has to be a a micrometer small uh, to be a zipto second is like yeah well said all right okay in today's one scientists have just measured something incredibly short they recorded the shortest unit of time and have ever measured it is called a zipto second this is a tiny, 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 tiny fraction of one second. It is a trillionth of a billionth of a second. Hey, this trillionth of a billionth. Is This is a dynamical point followed by Decimal. 20 zeros and then one. That's a lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The scientists study atomic physics at the Gauss. The Goethe. Goethe University in Germany. That's a weird name. Yeah, he's a famous writer and scientist from a long time ago. They used special high-tech equipment to measure how long it takes a 
<coughs> a photon to cross a hydrogen hydrogen mo molecule. A cross a takes a photon to cross a hydrogen. Yeah. Photon. What lights are made of, and this is yep. a. This is a, a hydrogen molecule. It's like. <laughs> Goes. Yeah, that's 247 septoseconds as well. Wait a second. Then it doesn't take a septosecond for light to cross this somehow. It says it takes 247 septoseconds for that to happen. So it's even smaller than that, shorter than that. It's like if it do that and light goes like, and that's yeah. probably a lot larger than that. It's like a nanosecond or something. Yeah, maybe. It's hard to understand these very very short periods of time it's too too short for humans to really make sense of yeah <laughs> yeah it's a few trillions up to seconds okay so the scientists are sorry well, the scientists said it took 247 zepto seconds for this to happen it is this is too small for the human eye to see and the time it takes to is too fast for the for humans to sense. Mm. In nineteen ninety nine, Ahmed Zawal Zawal Ahmed Zawal, an Egyptian chemist, mm. won the Nobel Prize in Christian chemistry chemistry for measuring the speed of. Which molecules change their shape? He found that one femtosecond equals a uh, femtosecond. What is that? Femto. I don't know. Femtosecond is a small, sh uh, short unit of time. A very short unit of time. I think in Korean it's called hecto. Hectosecond. Yeah. That's like femtosecond equals. Zero point zero 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 one seconds. Yeah. This is a mechanical point follow decimal. Sorry, decimal. Decimal That's what this little quickly this little period thing is called a decimal. Decimal point followed by forty fourteen zeros and then they work. Or millionth of a billionth of one second. A zeptosecond yeah. measures things in terms of the speed of light. It's difficult yeah. for the human in my human mind to understand these measures. One millisecond is a thousandth of one second. This is the time for a neutron in the human brain to fire. Neuron, neuron, neuron in the human brain. In the human brain to fire. One nanosecond is one billionth of a second. The shortest unit of time may may be possible to measure is one plank. This is a dynamical point followed by forty four zeros. Decimal, decimal point. Since decimal point followed by forty four zeros and a one. Wait, what? Forty-four zeros. Oh my. That's not even a speed of light. Oh, I, I know. A photon to cross a photon. Maybe. Yeah, it might be the time it takes for a photon to cross a photon. The that's forty-four zeros. The closest they've gotten is this measuring is this zeptosecond, which is twenty zeros. So you still have to add Maybe twenty-four zeros. A photon to cross an electron. Is mm. photon larger than the electron molecules or electrons or? I think yeah, it's a good question. I think electrons are short are smaller. I think so. Okay, so then yeah. then a time for a photon to cross an electron. Mm. D yeah, very very almost instantaneous. It looks like. <laughs> Okay, that was <laughs> very fast. That was probably a millisecond or something. Yeah, could have been. Um, great. You can't even see my arm. So fast, yeah. Yeah, that's wild. Very, very, very fast periods of time. Uh, what about the time for a X-wing to jump to hyperspace to go to go to another country? Trillions of zeptoseconds, I think. Maybe. Uh, what do you think? Hmm, maybe. Um, what about this jump to hyperspace to cross a millimeter? Mm. 
I don't know. Yeah, maybe a femtosecond. Uh, a hyperspace can a hyperspace can jump can move one hundred. Okay, so several times faster than the speed of light. So. Yeah. All right, we're coming up toward the end for today. I got to get ready for another class, but I shall see you on Friday. Okay. Aye, aye, right, aye Captain whatever. Aye, aye. Like and subscribe. <laughs> All right, see you Friday. What, Bye. Is, what do you have to say that? I don't know. I said it last time. Seemed cool. Oh. Adios.